photographic slides are useful instructional materials. In black and white or color, they are easy to make and easy to use in the classroom. Slides can be made student activities, microscopic objects, pictorial material found in magazines or books, scenic or historic spots, and local points of interest. Let's see how a teacher made this slide of a spillway to help her visualize a unit on the community's water supply. For outdoor colored pictures, a daylight type film is used. With each box, there is a guide that shows the correct exposure settings for almost the shutter speed and lens opening are read directly from the guide. Distance is the only other setting to be made. The teacher could estimate the distance or use a tape measure, but her camera has a rangefinder to make focusing easier. When adjusting the rangefinder control, this is what she sees. One of the two images moves. When it coincides with the other, the lens is properly focused. Then she is ready to make an exposure. The local Photoshop will handle processing of this film. Later on in the classroom, one of the children projects the slides as the teacher discusses them with the class. Pictures like this can be taken in normal room light by using fast films. Here a social studies teacher is making a picture in a printing plant. He is using a type of film that gives a finished positive transparency in about three minutes. After an exposure is made, the tab is pulled and the film is allowed to develop in the camera. In about two minutes, he can remove the transparency. It is complete except for hardening the emulsion, which is accomplished by dipping the transparency in a chemical hardening solution. This film has two advantages. Pictures can be taken in normal room light, and processing is rapid. In less than three minutes, a transparency can be made that is ready to mount and show in the classroom. A plastic mount like this is practical because it is unbreakable, and the special shape eliminates the possibility of projecting the picture upside down. Other pictures in black and white or color can be taken indoors by using flash bulbs or electronic flash for lighting. Color pictures of class activities make an effective report to the parents. For this, you can use a 35 millimeter camera with an inexpensive flash attachment. A plastic cover over the reflector serves as a protection in case the bulb should break. To find the camera settings, select the guide number for the film and bulb you are using. At 1 50th of a second, the guide number is 110. To find the proper lens setting, divide the guide number by the distance in feet. For a distance of 10 feet, the result would be 11. So the lens opening is set on 11. Then line up the subject in the viewfinder and snap the picture. Another slide for your collection. A pictorial record of class activities is a good way to show pupils' accomplishments.
With flash photography, you can also make records of bulletin boards or of class projects. A very important source of material for slides is the never-ending supply of maps, pictures, and graphs in books and magazines. These pictorial materials, colorful, readily available, and interesting, can inexpensively be converted into useful slides for teaching. Let's see how a copy is made of this magazine illustration. You will need to add an inexpensive close-up attachment to your camera for this type of copy work. Make the camera settings according to the directions that come with the copying equipment. A supplementary lens over the regular lens acts as a simple magnifying glass and permits you to make a close-up of the subject. You can make copies quickly and conveniently with this equipment. However, the size of the pictorial material you can copy will be limited. With a rigid copy stand and a more versatile camera, you can make adjustments for copying originals of any size. Two reflector flood lamps can be used for illumination. Be sure to use an indoor type color film. Careful focusing assures sharp pictures. An exposure meter, used as recommended for copying, will help you get consistently good exposures. You can also use a photo data guide to give you the proper exposure settings. Similar guides will help you determine the correct lens setting when making extreme close-ups. By using your equipment properly, and by following instructions carefully, you can make good slides. If you need a transparency in a hurry, copies can be made in a matter of minutes by using the process that makes a positive transparency in the camera. Daylight is an excellent light source for copying. If you're making colored copies, be sure to use daylight type film. A tripod provides a steady support for the camera while you make the exposure. To protect slides that are used frequently, bind them between two pieces of glass. A slide binding tape holds the glass, picture, and mask together. You can also use various types of commercial mounts that are available from your photo dealer. Often you can add interest to a slide presentation by making a tape-recorded narration to accompany the showing. Good photographic technique, proper exposure, sharp focus, and interesting camera angles will make your slides more effective. Notice particularly in these pictures of a leather craft project the use of close-ups to emphasize details. A good presentation of your slides is important. Be sure the room is adequately darkened, the projector properly focused, and the slides changed smoothly. There are many kinds of good projectors you could use. Once you start a collection of slides for instructional purposes, you will discover new and varied uses for your camera. Whether you use your camera to make pictures through a microscope, or take a picture of a flower, or make copies outdoors. You will enjoy making and using slides. Every subject matter area offers a wide range of possibilities, and you will find many uses for them in your classroom work.